Hey guys, it's Michael from Fire and Brilliance. And again, today's topic is made specifically for you. I've mentioned this many times in the past. If you are willing to leave a comment below, if you're willing to put a subject matter that you want us to cover, uh, we do put on a list. We prioritize it based on the popularity of the subject. And if it becomes popular enough, then we will make a video for you. So this video is made for those that wanted me to go over yellow moissanite, and I'm gonna get right into it. All right, so this is about yellow moissanite. Now, what is yellow moissanite? Well, first of all, it is a moissanite. So it's 100% moissanite. So what is 100% moissanite? If you've been following my content, you might already heard of a terminology called silicon carbide, okay? So it's been found a long time ago. Silicon carbide can be found naturally in nature, but the mineral is not big enough to be made into jewelry. So therefore the jewelry industry or the lab created industry or the moissanite industry specifically have created a way to create silicon carbide as an original rough or a piece of material of silicon carbide to make moissanite. Now, that being said, in order to make yellow moissanite, typically it will start off or it's more preferred to start off with a silicon carbide that has more of a yellowish hue to it, right? So it helps the process. Uh, that being said, so step number one. So do, you do need to know three things when it comes to moissanite. The first item is to know how did the original rough start? Uh, it's obviously with made of silicon carbide. And if it starts with a yellowish hue, then it will definitely help the case with creating yellow moissanite. Now step number two heat treated. So what does that mean? What is heat treated? Uh, you might actually know the uh, main part of what a heat, tr heat treated gemstone is this, okay? Uh, it's basically the application of heat to a colored gemstone to enhance the color and to sometimes even help the clarity grades. Uh, this is a process that's been going on for a very, very, very long time, not just for yellow moissanite or lab created gemstones, but for all gemstones. Yes, even natural gemstones. When you, uh, two examples would be like a blue sapphire or a red ruby, okay? So this is a process that's been, been going on in the jewelry industry to enhance the color. So if you want the blue sapphire, to be more bluish, or you want the rubies to be more red, and you want to enhance the colors, then yes, the application of heat is usually done to create the enhancement of those colors, to make it more vibrant, to make it stand out more, and at the same time, not only does it help the color, but many times it will help the clarity grade. So that is also the same case when it comes to yellow moissanite or other colored moissanite, okay? So if you do apply heat, at a certain temperature that will basically enhance the color of the stone, right? So that's one and two. Start with a yellowish, typically preferred a yellowish silicon carbide with a yellowish hue and then apply heat to it. Now step number three, what you want to know is when it comes to colored moissanite or yellow moissanite specifically is, is it permanent or not? Uh, based on my understanding and based on the people that I network with and the, based on the education that I've learned from how this process works, yellow moissanite is definitely permanent as long as the methodology was not to coat the stone, okay? So there are other uh, basically moissanite that are of different colors such as reds and blues and so on. If the process is to coat the stone with a specific color, then that is not a permanent solution. The per permanent solution of colored stones in general, not just moissanite, is that, did it originate from the rough? Was it heat treated? And therefore, it will make it more of a permanent solution. Now, now that being said, if there are, uh, I do want to make sure that I disclose this because uh, I do not want to say that, hey, you know, just because you buy yellow moissanite, that it will be, uh, that it will not be permanent. Only because, again, you do have to understand that if that process of making that yellow moissanite is to coat the surface area of the stone, then that is not a permanent solution. So, whoever you're purchasing it from, make sure uh, that you ask the right questions to to ensure that you are getting a permanent yellow moissanite. So those are the three main things. Uh, it starts with the original rough, uh, was a heat treatment or enhancement applied to it, and is it permanent? So uh, the three main things that I would personally ask for if you also buy yellow moissanite or any other colored gemstones are these three items, especially if you are looking for a gemstone that looks beautiful that will last a lifetime.
All right, so I hope you really enjoyed what you saw there. Again, this is about yellow moist night, but more importantly, it's about the comments that you left below because we wouldn't have gone over the subject matter if you didn't tell us what you want us to know. All right, so if you've been following my content, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every single time a new video, a Gemini, a podcast is released uh, so that you can actually learn more about uh, the jewelry and overall jewelry business, okay? Uh, that being said, again, if you do like this topic about yellow moise and I leave a comment below uh, on any other subject matter that you want us to cover when it comes to jewelry it could be about a ring comparison a gem comparison a stone comparison naturals versus lab labs versus labs anything at all uh, you know we do put it on a list again and we'll prioritize it based on popularity so that we can serve our audience you guys uh, so that we can make a video just for you all right that being said thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you again next time goodbye